meditate on the Word of God day and night. The Bible guides us to think deeply about things that are good, connected to God's love and right living. Imagine your thoughts filled with the beauty and significance of God's goodness, like a picture full of colors from God's love and teachings. This is very important for keeping our spirit strong and healthy. David, in Psalm 77 verse 12, beautifully said that he focuses on what God has done. This Bible verse is more than just words. It's a guide to help us understand ourselves better by focusing on God. In our daily lives, we often dwell on negative things like disappointments and failures. When life is tough, it's easy to miss the bigger picture. But what if we chose to think about the good things God has done for us? This means changing our perspective to appreciate the kindness, grace, and blessings we've received. It's about recognizing the opportunities God has given us and seeing all the ways He has shown His kindness and goodness in our lives. Remember, our own experiences with God's goodness, along with the Holy Scriptures, provide rich material for deep thought and gratitude. Now, in this modern day, we have all so many things that are competing for our attention, for our time, and for our focus. Joshua 1 verse 8 says, This book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. We are to meditate on God's Word day and night. And here's why we need to take the Word of God seriously in every aspect of our lives. An important characteristic of the Word of God is that it is living. It has a life. It brings life. It saves lives. And in reference to John 1 verse 1, the Bible tells us that in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And we know that God is the giver of life. God is the source of life, the source of eternal life. Therefore, His Word is the living. To further highlight the importance of meditating on the Lord's Word, let's take a look at what Jeremiah 23 verse 29 said. The Bible reads, Is not my word like a fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces? These are symbolic descriptions, as God likens His word to fire and a hammer. But why fire? Why would God liken His word to a fire? I personally believe that this is because fire destroys impurities. Refining wood flame is one of the oldest methods of purifying metals. And just like how metal can be purified through fire, our hearts and souls get better by following God's Word. This isn't just a quick fix. It's a long journey where we grow as we learn more about God's teachings. When we think about God's Word all the time, it's like a fire that cleanses us burning away our flaws and making us more spiritual. This takes effort. We have to really connect with the spiritual truths that can change us deep inside. So be brave and keep going. Don't fight with the things of this world, but stay focused on thinking about God's teachings. By doing this, we let ourselves change in a deep and spiritual way, making our thoughts actions, and who we are more in line with what God wants. Through this practice of thinking deeply about God's Word, we don't just find peace and clarity, but also a stronger connection to the timeless wisdom that guides our lives. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, the Bible tells us that your Word is like a fire. 
I pray in agreement today with everyone listening that your word would burn away all of the impurities in our lives. Father God, burn away all of the sin and all of the selfish desires. Burn away the corruption that is within our minds and make place for your word to be deeply rooted within us so that we can develop a godly character and mature as believers. Lord, your word tells us that your word is like a hammer. Let your truth dismantle our doubts and fears and let it shatter the chains of our wrongdoings. Guide us to build our lives on the solid foundation of your teachings and use your word to mold our thoughts and actions in accordance with your will. Lord, as the hammer shapes the iron, let your word shape our spirits and characters. Let it be a tool not just for destruction of what is bad, but also for the creation of all that is good, noble, and righteous within us. As we walk through each day, help us to recognize and turn away from the temptations and harmful paths. Fill us with the strength and wisdom to pursue a life that reflects your love and grace. In every tough time, let your words be our strong support and help us know what to do. Show us how to use your words to get through hard times and to be happy and peaceful with you. May your words always be like a light showing us the way, guiding us closer to you and the life you want us to have. Father Lord, destroy every selfish ambition. Demolish every lustful thought through your word. Father God, Right now, we open our hearts today and we seek to be changed, to be transformed through the power of the Holy Spirit and through the power of your word, your word that is living and active. Father, I pray that our spirits would crave your word. And as we seek to meditate on your word, may it crush our will so that you may have your way in our lives. The Bible says in 2 Timothy 3, verse 16, All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. Indeed, Lord, we submit to the authority that is in your word. As we strive to dwell on your word, Father, may it teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. May it correct us when we're wrong and teach us to do what is right before you, God. Father, your word in the book of James chapter 1 says, For if you listen to the word and don't obey, it is like glancing at your face in a mirror. You see yourself walk away and forget what you look like. Lord, please let your word show us where we're going wrong and where we really need your kindness and help. Like a mirror, let it show us how we're not quite living up to what you want us to be. Through your word, help us see clearly what we need to work on and how to get better. Guide us to understand our mistakes and show us how to fix them so we can be more like what you want us to be. Your words should keep reminding us about how patient and loving you are, pushing us to do better in our faith journey. We want to always use what you teach us as our guide. Let your word always be there to help us see what we need to change and how to live in a way that makes you happy. Let your wonderful name be exalted, O Lord. We thank you for answering our prayer. We praise and magnify your holy name, O Lord. In Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. Amen.